Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you are new here, I am Martina Lily, and today I thought we would do a full face of Lisa Eldridge makeup. I have all my products in this bag right here and I just, yeah, I wanted to do a full face with you guys because if you are not new around here, you know that I am an absolute fangirl of Lisa Eldridge. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, go ahead and do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. As a caveat, Lisa Eldridge doesn't actually have a product in every single category to do a full face. So when I say full face, I mean like a full face of what she has available in her brand because I think her liquid lipsticks and her eyeshadow brushes are actually the only products that I don't own from her yet. Yet. All of the products that I use on my face today will be linked in the description box down below for you guys. They are affiliate links, so if you shop through them, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you can buy Lisa Aldridge on her website, and you can also purchase it on Selfridges. So I'm going to start with eyes, but before that, I am going to put on a gloss. So I have three of her glosses. This is my favorite gloss formula, hands down. I absolutely love her gloss formula because it is the perfect mix of a lip gloss with a lip oil slash balm. So I feel like you get the shine and the gloss of a gloss, but you also get that nourishment and hydration from like a balm or a lip oil. I absolutely love them. They're not sticky on the lips. Like you don't feel like your hair is going to get stuck in them or anything. I really love them. Like I mean, I started with this one and then have now added these. And honestly, anytime I do like a Selfridges order, because I have... So for my Aussies, just as a side note, you can do like a membership with Selfridges. It costs $90 and you get free, like free. You obviously pay the $90, but you get shipping on them for an entire year. Honestly, it's brilliant. I know the $90 is a lot of an outlay of cost, but they get a lot of new releases quickly and they have a lot of brands that we don't get in Australia. And once you've paid the initial $90, that's it for the entire year. And this shipping honestly comes within like three, four days. Like it's brilliant. So anytime I do a Selfridges order, I honestly just add a new gloss in. So this one is actually my newest. This is Silent Sun and it's a clear one with gold flecks in it. So let's pop this on while we do the look. It actually took me a little while to pick up a gloss from Lisa because I was like, you know, a gloss is a gloss and everyone was raving about them and I just didn't have the money at the time. Like I had to prioritize other purchases and I was just like, surely they're just, they're not that good. And then honestly, I got one and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, they are 100% worth all of the hype and more. So I have primed my lids using my Rare Beauty Eye Primer because Lisa does not have an eye primer yet. Lisa has five eyeshadow palettes in her collection and each one is as impeccable as the other. Each one comes in this beautiful little gold packaging here and then depending on the palette you get the palette name and shades on the back. The palettes aren't necessarily too heavy but they are luxe feeling at the same time so they're still great to travel with because they're not going to like weigh your travel bags down or anything or like if you're someone that does your makeup like on public transport or whatever on the way to work or goes to the gym and then goes to work like they're real easy to like take around with you but they still feel luxe so this one right here is vega which i always feel bad showing on my channel i actually haven't been showing it a lot just because this one has been sold out since the launch of her eyeshadow palettes it's my personal favorite from her collection just cool tone dream and I know so so many of you want this palette and Lisa has been talking about this coming back for a really long time I actually think the last I heard was it's still not coming back until early next year so they must be having trouble like sourcing all the ingredients and getting them made and stuff but uh this one is incredible and as soon as I find it anywhere I trust trust me I will let you guys know but this one is my personal favorite um, and with her eyeshadow palettes it has little holes in the back here and you can pop out the shades and like mix and match them within either like the palette itself or the other palettes or you know you could put them in a little z palette but also say like you use one of the shadows up completely then you can just like she has all of them as singles available on her website you can just like repurchase that shade if you like use it up completely it's it's an absolutely brilliant system and i believe i saw a comment from her because someone was like you know will you ever have just like an empty palette where we can like choose our own shades and I do believe that is coming I don't know when probably next year but I think that's also an awesome feature so the other eyeshadow palettes that she has so this one is sorcery this one was also sold out and recently came back in stock which I know a heap of you purchased this one this is my second favorite in the collection I love these shades like this mercurial shade right here is just crazy it's it's beautiful all of these shades are beautiful she also has muse which is like a cool tony purple color story which i really like and this one's a bit of a, like a duochromy shift it's very pretty she has muse 
which Muse is just my personal least favorite, but if like, you know I like a little bit of a wham bam shadow, right? So if you like a softer kind of shadow, you'll actually love Muse and it is very pretty. I actually just put up last week a new collab video with Blair where we picked out each other's makeup and stuff again and she picked out this palette for me. So if you want to actually see a recent look with this, go check out that video. And then lastly, she also has Cinnabar, which is my third favorite in the collection. You know, I just, I really love the tones in here. And I think if you're a neutral makeup wearer, especially more of a neutral warm tone, then this is like the perfect palette for you. She also has liquid Lurex's um, eyeshadows. So like a liquid eyeshadow. I have three, Anae, Daphne, and Zorro, which I will swatch for you. I also have a playlist of all my Lisa Aldridge reviews and stuff like that. So that'll be linked in the description box if you want to see looks with any of these products that I don't show today and swatches and stuff. So these are the three shadows that I own in her liquid Lorexes. So that's Anae, Daphne and Zora. These are absolutely beautiful. These are actually my favorite liquid eyeshadow formula. They set and do not crease for the entire day, especially for my hooded eyes. The colors are absolutely stunning. She has a mixture of like brighter colors and then like these kind of gorgeous jewel tone metal colors uh, and it's very soft and easy to blend you get some work time on the lids but also it does set down and you can use them as a one and done you can use them as like a base for metallics like you know these are really a versatile product and they're just absolutely incredible and for my sensitive as eyes as well they do not irritate them in any way now, i'm not going to use the liquid shadows today because i want to use uh, the palettes but I did just want to give them like a shout out because they are a product worth looking at especially if you do like the actual liquid shadows all right let's put some eyeshadow on after all that yabbering hopefully you're still here I'm gonna dip into just a few different palettes just to show you how you can use them like that if you want to see again individual looks with the palettes I have done um, like looks and reviews on each one of these individual palettes it'll be linked in the description box the first brush I'm gonna pick up is a ref 33 and I'm gonna go into this shadow from myth this one is called Nocturama. And the thing that I love the most is like about Lisa Eldridge's eyeshadow palettes is her matte formulas because she has these like, what are they called? Uh, velvet mattes. And they're almost like, I'm going to start by popping this in the crease. Um, they're like a cream to powder type matte formula, but they are even more easy to use and blend than that formula. Like, can you see that literally just blended instantly like lisa's formula it is they are expensive don't get me wrong lisa's makeup is a luxury brand but when i tell you that it is actually worth the money it is because like these shadows really do just put themselves on your eyes and just completely blend themselves out and especially like if you have more textured lids mature lids you'll absolutely love these because they're so like texture or mature lid friendly, but I think any single age of a person will love these. Again, if you are someone that wants that like Pat McGrath Labs real like indie eyeshadow intense formula, these are not for you, but you can build these up. Like I wouldn't also call these a, um, like a luxury formula in the sense of like your Tom Ford's and your Chanel's where they're a bit of a softer wash of color. Like these do have a lot more oomph to them than that. I would say they're like in the middle of a luxury eyeshadow formula like your Tom Ford and Chanel and your Natasha Denona formula. And you can really tailor these uh, metallics in particular. So if you want to use the metallics and you just want like a soft washer color, you can just use a brush and like lightly put it on the eye and it will just be like a softer kind of pigment. But if you want to like amp them up, you can use your finger and then they get really like, oomph. so I really love that how versatile these palettes are. Next time I'm gonna take this green from Sorcery, which is Troubadour. This is a refer one brush that I'm using by the way. The other thing that um, Lisa talks about with the formulation of these shadows is that you can actually really just apply these with the fingers if you want. And I've done that before where you just like tap it on and you can like tap the shadows out and they, I need a smaller brush, sorry, as I'm saying this. Let's go into my beloved Chikahoto GSN 10. This is from Feud Beauty, by the way, which I highly recommend checking out. Um, it's in the description box if you want to. They've, they've got some amazing brushes. Uh, so uh, yeah, Lisa does talk about how you can actually, um, I'm just concentrating this on the outer corner. You can actually apply these mattes and everything just with your fingers and they are such an incredible formula that they will literally blend with your finger like it was would be kind of with a shadow and I can attest to that. It really does, they really do perform that way. Like you can 
just tap these on the lids and sometimes when I'm in an uber rush and I'm just like quickly throwing some shadow on I will actually grab these and do that because the formula really does work with your finger so I love that I really am a huge fan of this eyeshadow formula I really do I really really am also this is not sponsored or like no PR no nothing I bought all of this with my own money I wish if Lisa Aldridge ever wanted to send me PR or sponsor me, I would die. You you will find my body on the ground because she is my favorite person in makeup. I love her. Like I want to go to London next year to see if like I can go, hopefully she still has her store because I think it's just a pop-up store and I'm hoping it'll still be, or like she'll do it for summer and I want to go and like see if I can go to the store and like see it and like get my makeup done by one of her team and just like I will die. I will die. She is my favorite. Even over Pat, everyone, like I love her. That doesn't mean that I'm not honest and you'll see that when I get to um, a particular product. All right, I am going to take my Pat McGrath Intensify Stick because I do want a little bit more oomph and this is another way to get that. But you absolutely do not have to use this. You can, you know, skip it, concealer, wet your brush or just use nothing. You can use your finger, all of that. It really doesn't matter. It's just a personal preference thing for me. I'm going to take this What's Up R110 and I'm going to go into this green, which is called Grotto. Actually, I am just going to pick this up on my finger. I don't know what I'm doing. It really does work better with that. And I'm just going to press it in the center there. Oof. Like, see this? Look at it. That is incredible. Utterly incredible. I get mad when I use her products because they're so good. Look at that. And then what I want to do for in here is I'm going to go into this one right now, which is Mage. And oh, I have too big of a nails to actually use a, like, to use my finger for that right now. These are just press on nails from Dashing Diva because um, I didn't have time to paint my nails this morning. So I'm just going to pick up Red for two up actually. And then I'm going to press this in here. And look at that. And see Mage, like when you put it next to Grotto, it brings out this slight green undertone to it, but if you were to put Mage on the lid all on its own, it's quite of a like metal silver. It's really a unique shade. I love these. And I'm really hoping that Lisa is going to bring out more color stories in her palettes. Maybe for Christmas, I hope. She hasn't done her holiday sneak peeks yet. So fingers crossed. Oof. Now you can leave this here because this is absolutely perfection in my personal opinion, but I'm going to take it a little step further just with that same brush. I'm going to pick up Mercurial here, which is my favorite shade actually in the entire five palettes. I really adore this. It's just this real beautiful shifty. See this? Oh, look at that shift. Look at it. Look at it. No, but seriously, look at this shadow. Stop it. And that you can also just put like say a real soft matte over the lid, like, you know, a bronzer even if you don't have one or like this shadow from uh, Vega if you have it or the shadow that I used from Myth just then. Just put that all over the lid and then you can just tap this mercurial shade, just like tap, tap, tap. And when I tell you how stunning that looks on the everyday, if you want like a really simple, quick and easy look. Ooh. I love these shadows. I wanted to use Sorcery because I know a heap of you just recently picked it up and I wanted to give you some inspo. So hopefully this helps. I'm just going back into that uh, Troubadour matte with the GSN 10 from Chikahoto. I'll just lightly tap here. Now, if you're wondering where I would wear this look to, it's work because I am actually getting ready for work right now. But obviously everyone's version of like work looks, everyday looks, glam looks, la la la. It's all up to you, you do you. I love that, that is intensely beautiful in my personal humble opinion. All right, let's now move on to base. Lisa does not have a primer per se, but she does have her elevated skin glows. And these are supposed to like tighten your skin and you can really utilize these in like multiple ways as a primer, mixed in with your foundation, um, you know, as a highlight, all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually gonna mix in I'm going to mix in a little bit of this one, Crystal Nebula, with my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas because this on its own 
will be a little bit too much, but uh, for, your, for your gal with oily skin, like you can see my oil is coming through already this morning. My skin's not looking crash hot today, actually. I'm just going to mix it in with it. And then I'm going to pick it up on this LYS foundation brush. Mix them together. And I might actually just avoid my T-zone with this one because, uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm, I'm oily. But see how beautiful it is? Oh, it is such a gorgeous product. And actually, look at my... Uh, it's probably all messed up now because I've just used it. But I don't know if you can see. My Elevated Glow in Crystal and is down to here. So I'm going to have to buy a new one soon. Which is very exciting. And that I will instantly repurchase that product. It's impeccable. I am going to take a bit of my Danessa Myrix Universal Blurring Balm. Just through my T-zone. I need to like set this for today. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not going to end well for me. Time for foundation, and this is actually my least favorite product from Lisa Eldridge. So this is the Seamless Skin Foundation. I have the shade 5. I actually probably need the shade 7, I think. Um, this is a bit too light for me. But I just, I can make this work, but it's just not my fave. Like, it just doesn't suit my skin as well as, say, other foundations do. I'm actually going to take this on my BK101 to begin with. And I'm just going to pump out a couple of pumps. Now, this kind of foundation as well, you either love it or you hate it, is what I found. In like, or, I mean, I guess I'm kind of in the middle of it, but I do, I don't, I'm not super fond of it. I'm just, I paid a lot of money for it. And so I refuse to like give up on it. And I have found a way to make it work for me. And on good skin day, so good thing my skin's not doing well today. On a good skin day, this actually can look really nice on my skin. And I think that's probably a difference is like I find I have to have like almost really, really perfect skin or as close to for this foundation to like really, really work for me personally. But then there are a lot of people out there that this foundation for them is a holy rail. So it really, you know, we're all, it comes down to science, right? Like everyone's chemicals and skin is going to react differently two foundations otherwise we would just have like one kind of a formula out there on the market you know because it would work for everyone but yeah i can make this work you can tell it's a little bit too light for me i would just recommend personally getting a tester of this foundation before you purchase it just to make sure that you do like it and also the shades can be a little tricky so it's great shade range but you just want to make sure and lisa's really good on her website when you purchase something you can add a foundation shade card to like test Now, you can shear this foundation out and you can build it up. I don't like to build it up too much. Like, I find it's not really a full coverage foundation on me, but I know a lot of people actually find this to be really full coverage from them for them, so it depends on your version of full coverage, I suppose. I find I like to keep this more at a light coverage because if I build it up too much, especially through my T-zone, that's when I find it tends to go horribly wrong for me and can like cake up and just look not so great. So this is the foundation on. And as you can tell, like it's not looking horrific. It really isn't. It looks quite nice, but I just find it doesn't, I think what it is, is it doesn't smooth my texture. And I personally like my texture to be quite smooth. So when I think of that, I think of like the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation, the new Lancome Tint E Doll, for example, they give me like a proper filter like they smooth my skin and so that's kind of my preference but this really does like when it's a seamless skin it really is i guess the perfect description for it because it really does look like skin you know your skin still looks like you completely so if you're looking for that then again you might really like this lisa does not have concealer color corrector powders or cream bronzers or bronzers yet so i'm just going to do a speed through of that so you guys can still see what i'm using um, but i'm not going to talk through we'll save some time those products will be still linked in the description box for you guys though remember they are affiliated and uh, then we'll come back and you know carry on
I did all that you saw in this feed through plus my brows because Lisa doesn't have brow products yet. And I wanted to say the way that I've actually found to make this foundation work the best for me is by using a pressed powder foundation as my setting powder. So I really like this Makeup Forever one. I actually love, love this product. As you saw in the thing, I just get like my hourglass brush and like use that as my setting powder. And I find it just like smooths everything out, but also adds an extra touch, just an extra pinch of coverage that I'm personally looking for. So if you've been struggling with the foundation, give that a try as well, because I really do find that when I do that method, it, I don't know what it does to the foundation on my skin, but it looks really lovely, at least I think it does anyway. I'm gonna take this Visiodo pencil brush and go into the Nocturma or Nocturama, Noc, 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 yeah, Nocturama um, shade from Myth. I actually really like this shade, it's one of my faves. And we will go under here. And then just on the same brush, I'm going to take some of Tribadol. Lisa did just recently release eyeliners in her collection. I picked up the black and the coffee one. I also wanted the green, but for some reason it didn't add to my cart, which is totally fine. I also did a video, which will be linked in the playlist from Lisa Eldridge down below, where I compared these eyeliners to the Victoria Beckham eyeliners. And honestly, I can't personally find a difference because, I mean, even when you look at the ingredients, which I talk about in the video, the ingredients are basically the same, just in a, some of them are in a slightly different order. So they're very, very, very similar to the Victoria Beckham ones. I personally really love these. I do think these are probably a touch more emollient than the Victoria Beckham ones, personally. But, uh, you know, they're absolutely lovely. They do not irritate my sensitive eyes. I can wear them on a computer all day, that kind of a thing, which is my criteria for a good eyeliner and, and one of the reasons why I love the Victoria Beckham ones. So I'm going to pop the black one on my top waterline. Now this on the top waterline, it will transfer to begin with onto the lower waterline, just like the Victoria Beckham ones do. If you're not new around here, you know that that for me does not bother me. I just kind of let it do it for a minute and I either just don't worry about wiping it away and put whatever eyeliner I'm going to put on the bottom line or I just get a little Q-tip and wipe it off. And the reason why that doesn't bother me is because I'm happy to pay that price, if you will, for lack of a better term, for the fact that this doesn't irritate my eyes all day and I can like work on a computer all day and it's completely fine. So it just depends on like what you are personally looking for. Um, but as you can see, like it's just transferred just a touch but it will set down. I am just going to put my Victoria Beckham Brightener on my lower waterline because that was the only thing I was disappointed with with Lisa's eyeliner launch was just that she had no lighter shades in the launch for the lower waterline for those of you, for those of us that do like a lighter shade in the lower waterline. So I'd love to see her expand the shade range with some lighter colors. So I'll just use my Victoria Beckham one and then I'm just going to put my Milk Makeup Mascara on and... Uh, Actually, before we do that, let's just do the uh, inner corner, shall we, of the eye. I'm going to take this Refer 12, and I'm actually going to go into this Illusion Illusionism shadow from Myth, or the inner corner. And I am going to pop that in here. And this is like a really, really soft, pinky duo cream shade, and it's gorgeous. See that? Absolutely beautiful. Like, I feel like this look has come together so well. So now let's move on to our highlighter and our blush. And for highlighter, let's use Pink Moon because I use Crystal Nebula on my face. And again, I mean, I can't say enough good things about this highlighter. It's like you can build this up to actually be quite blinding, but it still looks natural. But it works well under powder, over powder. You can also make it very, very subtle. It's such a light gel formula. It's... Honestly, I can't say enough good things about it. I like to just put it on the back of my hand and pick it up with my sponge and then just like, look at that. Look at how natural that is. <sighs> I've raved about these for a really long time. <laughs> I absolutely adore them. Like I absolutely adore them. I'm not gonna set those because they honestly last really well all day on their own. And now we're gonna do blush. And what I'm actually gonna do is you can use Elisa's cream blushes, oh, sorry cream blushes. She did used to have cream blushes, but I guess maybe the, 
like products that she used to make those potentially can't be get like she can't get anymore or something because they've never come back but you can use her lipsticks i was trying to say as a cream blush so let me pick a shade what am i going to do i'm actually going to use velvet fawn as my cream blush so i'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and i may or may not have just accidentally snapped the bullet off which is totally my fault because i know these are tender and then i'm going to pick this up just on this bh cosmetics marble brush now when you get lisa's lipsticks sometimes the bullets will come broken okay they are it's the formulation there's nothing it's what makes the formulation so special also makes them really soft but when i tell you like if you just contact lisa eldridge's customer service with a photo or a video of the issue they will either send you a new product immediately or they will refund you if that product sold out so and they do not they've never asked me to send the product back or anything like that it's only actually happened to me once so um you know I know that a lot of you guys will be like, oh, they're so expensive, like for that to happen, but it's specifically their formula. Like they talk about it. I believe it's in their frequently asked questions as well, but their cost, like Lisa's customer service is second to none, truly. Like they will fix it for you. Oh, that's looking really nice. Really nice. Now I started small because I was a bit nervous. So let's build it up a little bit. I always forget that you can use her lipsticks as cream blushes as well. And I need to remember more because the shades that I have um, like this is like perfect for me. <sighs> have I unlocked a new obsession? Like my goal, I'm not even kidding. It is not a reasonable goal in the sense that, oh, sorry, it's not a practical goal. Like, it's ludicrous, but my goal is to own every single Lisa Eldridge lipstick. Like, this is how much of a fangirl I am of her, truly. So I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit. I mean, look at that. Is that not incredible? I have never done that before, and I am that impressed. And it hasn't lifted my powder or foundation or anything. I'm going to set it just a touch, though, just because my skin is oily today. Let's actually take this Chanel 797 Fall Blush and just set it just a touch. Oh, that looks amazing in my, my personal humble opinion. This year, Lisa also brought out a setting spray. It's called the Skin and Makeup Enhancing Mist. You can use this as like a toner or just like a skin refresher and a makeup setting spray. I like to spray it on my sponge. I like to do that with all of my setting sprays. Now, Lisa's is um, a lot more hydrating than say the Charlotte Tilbury, for example. So I actually find I use this more on days when my skin is dry. And then on days like today when my skin's oily, you'll notice I really didn't put that in my T-zone at all because uh, it, it's not that it enhances oil. It's just that it is a bit more hydrating for like when my skin is oily in the T-zone. So I usually leave that on the outside. But I think you can tell like it adds this really lovely, very subtle, healthy, for lack of a better word, glow almost. And it's not a glow in the sense where you look oily or glowy. It just like almost brings your skin back to like that juiced up life in a really nice way. And it melts all the products into your skin and it really does extend the wear time of my makeup. Um, and I like, I really enjoy the setting spray. When I use it up, I, I will absolutely repurchase it. Now, in terms of formulas, she has her True Velvet formula, which was the Fawn lipstick that I put on my cheeks. That is like a... I want to say matte, but it's not. I, velvet is the correct word. It is a velvet formula. It kind of feels like a little bit powdery on the lips, but it's very hydrating, a little bit more accentuating than a satin formula, but not really. It doesn't give me butthole lips or anything, but the lasting power on those true velvets is intense. Like they are some like the true velvets and then also the insanely saturated, which is basically like a true velvet, a little bit more hydrating, but more intense pigment. It doesn't have as much of like a powdery feel as well, the insanely saturated. Um, those two lipsticks are my longest wearing lipsticks in my collection, period, hands down, even over liquid lipsticks. Like I can put one of those lipsticks on early in the morning. And at five o'clock at night when I come back home or whatever, or whenever I come back home, I can look in the mirror and they have not budged, at least on my lips, like not budged. And when I tell you the level of coffee I drink in a day, okay, they are the only ones that wear incredibly well. And the best thing is, even if for some reason, like say they might wear just a teensy bit away on like the inner port, port, port part of your lips here this because they're not like they don't fully dry down like if you were to like kiss your back of your hand like they, they're not completely transfer proof so because that they don't have that awkward flake away wear away like layering issue that liquid lips might have when they're the matte formula so you can just like 
dab it on again and like touch it up and it's it's still immaculate so I hands down love those and then you have the luxuriously loosened formula which has the shade Lemon Pre, which is actually my perfect everyday nude shade from Lisa and this is kind of like my go-to favorite lip from her just because it's a satin type hydration formula a little bit sheer so you can just like pop it on in the dark it really doesn't matter like it's not gonna look crazy and it's just like that perfect like nude nudie shade for me on the everyday um, but I like honestly I'm not a massive lip product person like I'm really not I like, like for me to purchase a lip product, it's got to really, really take, like spark my interest because I, I, I don't know. It's just like, I'm a gloss person and a lip oil person, but like for a physical lipstick, it has to be something that I'm really intensely wowed by to like spend my money on it. Cause I just, I don't know. I'm, I always lean more towards a gloss or an oil to be honest with you. Um, but the Lisa lipsticks blow my mind. And like, when I say to you, I'm going to collect every shade, I mean it. Like, that's how much I love them. I mean it. I really, really love them. And it's not just because I'm a fangirl of Lisa. Like, I intensely love the formulas. Like, they are incredible. The lip liners are also the same. Um, very creamy in a good way, but also will not budge. Like, intensely pigmented. Like, you can put these on and that is it for the whole day. Like, you are good to go. So, I'm actually going to take the Fawn lip liner, which is my personal favorite. Let's take a little bit of Kitten Mischief and pop that on the outer portions. Kitten Mischief is also a luxuriously loose, uh, yeah, luxuriously loosened shade. And if you are of a deeper skin tone, you might find that this is a really nice, like your kind of nude everyday shade. But for me, because I'm a bit pale or incredibly pale, it is just a little bit too deep for me for like my casual everyday nude, you know? I'm trying to find Lemon Pre here and I've lost the bloody thing. Where are you? Here you are. Okay, then I'm gonna take Lemon Pre and pop that in the center. Perfect. And again, I have videos where I have like swatched and lip swatched every single one of my Lisa Eldridge shades. In fact, I did a video recently that I lip swatched all of my Lisa Eldridge product, lip products. And the only one that wasn't in there was um, True Velvet Ribbon because that's the newest edition. So like if you want to see them all on the lips, go check that video out. And then I'm going to take a fair from her glosses, which is my favorite like nude gloss or brown gloss, I should say. And I'm going to pop that over the top. And that looks perfect, if you ask me, in my humble opinion. All right, let me go figure out hair and jewelry and stuff, and we'll zoom this out and wrap it up. All right, my friends, this is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I even put a little curl in my hair. Who am I? I love this. Listen, I, I'm not biased, but I am a Lisa fan, okay? But I'm also, like, my intense fandom for Lisa increased or became so because of how good of a quality and impressive her products are truly like I've always loved her but just seeing the work and creativeness and just the passion that she puts into her products and the intention has made me just so impressed with her and just the fact that I just I feel like she just loves makeup like she just loves it and I just connect with that so intensely Anyway, uh, this is the full face of Lisa Aldridge products. Let me know what you think. Have you tried the brand? Do you love her as much as I do? Do you love the brand as much as I do? Let me know. And let me know if you are a lover, what is your favorite lip shade from her? Put it in the comments down below for me. And then if you are wanting to try the brand, let me know what your first product is that you've got your eyes on. All right. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I appreciate you so, so much, truly. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you next time. Bye.